Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt. This is off the playbook. Bring you an NFL Week 9 preview between the San Francisco 49ers and the Washington Redskins. Now let's look at some keys to victories for both teams. Looking at the 49ers offense, getting Braylon Edwards back was a huge asset to this team. Now that passing game opens up, teams are going to have to decide whether they want to roll covers to Crabtree or roll covers to Edwards, or do we double down and take out Vernon Davis, the tight end of the 49ers. But you look at what they can do against the Redskins, it's all about putting pressure on those outside linebackers. So I look for a lot more screens this week for Frank Gore and those backs out of the backfield. So I look for those guys to catch passes and be more of a factor this week. But you look at the defenses out of the football. The 49ers have to come in and make sure they shut down the Redskins running attack. If the Redskins are allowed to have balance, they will be a dangerous team to stop because John Beck is a guy that does great with the football, off of play action, makes great decisions with the ball. So I think they have to come in and stop the run and also looking at the fact that they can play the run on the way to the quarterback. The 49ers already have one of the best run defenses in the league. So that should allow them more more freedom to take more chances in getting to John Beck because you want to make this game John Beck versus Alex Smith. If they can do that with effectiveness, especially on the road, this could play in the favor of the 49ers to stop the Redskins offensively. Now let's take a look at the Redskins offense. I think the Redskins are a better team than what we saw last week against Buffalo. Each NFL team has those games each and every year, at least one, where they just lay an egg. So I think the Redskins do have talent offensively. And what they have to do is get the ball to this guy right there, Ryan Terrain, should help out that ground game, should control the clock. If they can control the clock against San Francisco, it's going to make the 49ers have to throw the football to win. And that's not what they want to do offensively. Now, also looking at the offensive side of the football, even though they're missing some of their key receiving targets, it's still important to get these young guys involved in the ball game. If you can work the passing game, you can also use the passing game to set up the run. And that's going to give John Beck more time in the pocket to make those smart decisions that he's used to making. Now defensively, stopping the 49ers is all about stopping Frank Gore. If they can make Frank Gore a non-existent factor, they could have some success. Also, the outside linebackers can't get caught with their pants down, can't be over aggressive in the screen game. If they can stay alert and be alert for those passing uh, screens out of the backfield, they can have some success because what the 49ers will try to come and do is force those guys like Arakpo and Kerrigan to be pass coverage linebackers instead of pass rushing linebackers. I'm going with the 49ers in this matchup. I like what they have offensively, and I like the fact that the passing game will start to open up this week with the addition of Braylon Edwards. So look for the 49ers to be a little bit more explosive this time around. For more NFL previews, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL or visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash footballgameplan. And listen to the Football Game Plan radio show, which airs Saturdays, 11 a.m. Eastern time at blocktalkradio.com slash footballgameplan.